Now, you look a lot different than a lot of stand-up comics. I know. I know. <laughs> tell us the elephant bit, in the room. Tell us a little bit about your story, because it's, it's very fascinating. Yeah. You started in MMA. Yeah, I had a career in the UFC for about, you know, 10 years before that. Played uh, football, college football, and had a cappuccino with the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, transitioned into mixed martial arts and started uh, doing podcasting. And I've always wanted to do stand-up. It was always kind of a dream of mine. And the podcast took off and it kind of gave me this platform and a voice. And next thing you know, I'm, I'm doing stand-up at these crazy venues. And uh, I feel like the, the new kid in school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you started as a podcaster. Yeah. And then you kind of transitioned into stand-up. Yeah, I started, a, you know, we got a hip podcast with my partner in crime, Brian Callen. Of course, who's a, yeah. you know, big actor, comedian. You know, he's one of the best. and. Fighter and um, the Kid. Fighter and the Kid. And then... Um, yeah, and the kid is awesome. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. And, um, yeah, just started doing that. And then uh, he goes, man, we should do these live. I think it'd be yeah. cool. And I, I just love to perform. And he goes, uh, listen, we're, we're going to do them live. And we just want you to start by telling a story. You have 10 yeah. minutes, just tell a story. And so I started telling stories. And uh, it, that was easy to grasp. Yeah. And then we are uh, sold out Chicago Theater, the Vic and probably 1,300 people, I'm going out, and I go, hey, man, uh, what do you think of my story? And he goes, story? You mean, you mean the stand-up? And I go, no, I tell stories. And he goes, oh, Bubba, no, you're doing stand-up. I just don't want to scare you. Right. Yeah, it's called stand-up. And since then, I've just started doing it, man, and uh, it's, it's, I'm living in a fairy tale. I feel like the glitch in Wreck-It Ralph. You know, it's like I'm this big Wreck-It Ralph guy, and it's just it's crazy, man. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like... For a lot of people starting out stand-up, uh, they get very nervous. I, I would imagine coming from the MMA community. Yeah, fighting in your underwear and getting <laughs> yeah. you know beat up in front of millions of people Once is pretty you've done stressful. That, I would think you could. Uh... This is different though, man, because at least people are like, "Well, I can never do that." That's whatever. Right. With comedy, it's like, you know, and it's not like I'm just in the shallow end touching the waters. Right, I'm at, right. you know, I'm at the Moon Tower Festival right. and, you know, the comedy store and these yeah. huge theaters. Like, you better have your act together, man. Right. So I'm working my tail off.